What is up YouTube, it's Kingfisher745, and in this video, we're going to cover Chapter 9, Mission 4's Heroic Battle. Now in this specific heroic, it's going to be the Warriors 3 versus the Wrecking Crew. In Murder World, even the Warriors 3 need to play by Arcade's rules, so you're going to need Fandral and Hogan, and the team up will be Volstag. Since it's a three-man heroic, you're going to be able to win three different E-ISOs once again. And Volstags is the nourished. He had a big breakfast, start combat with 13 times well-fed, and man in the middle. So that's pretty epic. Hogan's and Fandrels are also fairly good, as we'll see in the roulette. But for this one, we have a tactician, infiltrator, and scrapper. But remember, they're dual classes. The classes really won't be a big deal in this one. They'll most likely only benefit you. Or I should say mainly benefit you. This is a pretty cool battle, I do have to admit. But I do have one pet peeve about it. There is so much dialogue. It feels like pages and pages and pages. The first time I tried reading through it, it drove me crazy. And maybe that's just me. Normally, I would be fine with reading through any dialogue at least once or twice, but then after two times, any lengthy dialogue gets really annoying to have to skip through, especially if you're trying to farm. So for something to bother me on the first time, that means there's entirely too much. Still, don't get me wrong, the writers do a pretty fantastic job, and hopefully if you did skip through, at least you catch this prancing ponies part. It's going to be reference in the battle. But yeah, we'll get through this dialogue eventually and then we'll begin this fight. I just wanted to leave a little time with each panel in case anyone wanted to read it. In this fight, once you begin, it's going to appear pretty straightforward. But there is something special that you'll notice once you get into it a little bit. This special condition can actually make quite a difference. So you will want to pay attention. The cool thing is it both hurts you and benefits you, so at least it's not entirely against you. The enemies themselves besides being a bruiser, scrapper, and tactician don't have any other special bonuses outside of Relentless. So you don't really have to mouse over them to start this one. Just go ahead and click fight. The Warriors 3 on the other hand work really well together and are a perfect team up of course. When one drinks, they all drink. They do follow up attacks, give each other buffs, Volstag even protects. Now I'm going to be honest with you, this is my first time playing this mission, so I didn't know what to expect. And also, after playing it through multiple times, I would make one big change, where I first thought using On Guard with Fandral was a good move. I've since started using his level 9, and I mean as my first attack. Just go ahead and drop that chandelier. The bleeding will come in very handy. In this first attempt, I assumed I'd get to drop it later, and I don't think I ever got to. But there you saw Arcade just mention Prancing Ponies once again, and I didn't know what that meant, but we're going to find out. At this point with Hogan, I went ahead and used Elixir of Recovery to gain the various buffs from my team. You can save it for when you're more hurt or debuffed or what have you. Or you can use Hogan to gain those buffs. It really shouldn't make a huge difference in this fight. After Thunderball attacks, we get some pretty big hits on him. And at the time, we didn't realize why. With Volstag, I use Guard the Rear to make him our protector. And this comes in really handy if you have the debuff sticks. We didn't even know what that was, but we're about to find out. After a big hand punch, we counter, and then we see Bad Pony. The same thing happens to Hogan, so there's really nothing you can do about follow-ups or counters proccing Bad Pony. But where this is coming from is Arcade decided to switch things up. He places sticks on some of the enemies, and even on some of the Warriors 3. And Stick says, Arcade punishes attacks against this target. Now if he places that on Volstag and you make him a protector, it really comes in handy. I have seen that happen. But on the flip side, Carrot says, 
Arcade rewards attacks against this target with extra damage. So since Thunderball has that debuff, we can hit him for some huge damage. After you take out the Carrot's target, you can have them attack us and hopefully get hit with Bad Pony. Or you can just go ahead and risk attacking them anyways. In this case, what I was talking about actually did occur and Volstag has sticks. So it's really bad news for the enemy team. To be honest, all we have to do is recharge and let Pile Driver kill himself. But we will use Overwhelming Presence. And then after that, we're just going to go ahead and skip our turn. On Volstag's turn, we'll do the same. And then with any luck, he'll end up getting Bad Pony to death. So, after he takes his bleeding, he's going to use an Overhead Smash. That causes more bleeding damage. And Bad Pony. We also use Have At Thee, so we take it right back. Same thing with the Wind Up Swing. But Pile Driver takes two more Bad Pony hits. And then with his next attack, he's going to take himself down. So I don't even know, a theory could be pass every turn and see if you can win that way. Without even attacking. It may be possible, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet myself. But still a very easy Heroic. And for that, we get a chance at the Nourished E-Iso, which we already saw. Then next, there's 1, 3, and 5 CP. Then the Convivial E-Iso 8 for Fandral. That grants him all for one. Chance to join in on an ally's single target attack. And chance to retaliate when an ally is hit by single target attacks. So very nice, and although I've never heard of that word, it has to do with friendship or something like that. Being friendly or something. So hey, sometimes this game teaches us vocabulary. Especially Fandral. And lastly, the Militant E-Iso 8 for Hogan. This gives him Warlord, granting more bound to all allies. Allies gain more frenzy when attacked. Increasing attack and accuracy. So right away we know this is a good one. But unfortunately we don't win any. Hopefully you have better luck and... Well, that's going to be number 4 out of 6 down. So just 2 more to go. And we're going to try to post both of those tomorrow. That's going to be it for this one, but I do want to thank you all for watching. I ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe. Then until next time, good luck, and take care.